Cape Verde is an island country spanning an archipelago of 10 volcanic islands in the Central Atlantic Ocean, 500 kilometers west of Senegal. It's a former Portuguese colony and the tourists started booming about 10 years ago. Every island is different and it has own character, ranging from desert landscape to green sugarcane valleys and moonlike volcanic scenery. We stayed on the island of Sal, named after two large salt cones. It's 29 kilometers long and 11 kilometers wide. It's flat and desert-like. You can visit it in one day, to be honest. Most holidays resorts are located in a town called Santa Maria. Here are our top five things to do in Sal. Number one, rent a car. You can rent 4x4 in your hotel or in the local car rental shop. When we were renting the car, we got information that we better off leaving the windows in the car open if we gonna go for a walk on the desert and if we want to leave our car unattended. Because if someone wants to take our stuff from the car, they won't need to break the window, which is very important. Uh, we didn't go for a walk on the desert, by the way. We just drove through it. Renting a car is a great option if you want to visit the island on your own. You can go to all the must-see places like Salinas, which is the big salt mine. You can also go to Blue Eye, which is underwater blue cave that from the top looks amazing. You can see mirages on the desert and even drive itself along the coast is very unique and beautiful and scenic. So. Enjoy the ride and enjoy the desert adventure. Number two, rent a quad. In Santa Maria, there are a few places to rent a quad, which is easier than renting a scooter as you need a motorbike license to rent one. Once you have a quad, you can take highway to the main town in the middle of the island called Espargos, turn right, past Salinas and head south. The route is scenic, you can even spot some nursery sharks and an old shipwreck. We enjoyed riding our quad of road on a proper desert trail. The whole trip should take you no longer than 4-5 hours. Just remember to wear old clothes, sunglasses and a scarf to cover your face because after this adventure you will be completely covered in orange dust. Number 3. Kite surfing. Cape Verde is one of the best places in the world for kite surfing. It holds world championships and it has few local world champions too. You can even book classes with one of them. Kite Beach is located 5 minutes drive from Santa Maria and you can get there by taxi. If you are a keen kite surfer, this place is probably already on your bucket list and you will enjoy it big time. If you are a novice to this sport just like we are, you can try it out with one of the great schools that operates on the island. We both tried it and we had a lot of fun and a lot of water in our lungs and we want to try it again on a calmer water. Number 4. Take a catamaran trip. You can book this kind of tours in the travel agencies in Santa Maria or in your hotel. If you want to spend a relaxing afternoon, have a drink, dance with the local tour guides or attempt playing drums, that's the perfect option for you. The experienced crew will show you the island from a different perspective. You will enjoy beautiful views. With a bit of luck, you might even spot a dolphin. Number 5. Go snorkeling. You can snorkel in few places in Santa Maria. You can use a tour company to take you to the best snorkel locations. Or you can dive into the water once you're on catamaran trip. Local told us that sadly there is not that many fish as it used to be due to commercial fishing done mostly by Chinese companies. However, you can still admire beautiful corals and the fish that is still remaining in the waters. So enjoy! We spent 7 days in Salt and these were the top 5 things to do. 
If you have more time, however, try to get a boat and visit other islands as they are very diverse. If you like this video, please put thumbs up, subscribe, leave us a question. We're going to respond to all your comments and hope to see you in the next episode.